When all you've got is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. But there's a lot more to this fish than just a blunt instrument. If you've heard the recent news about a giant hammerhead patrolling the shallows of Galveston, Texas, you might be curious about the kind of animal swimming around your ankles while you're out for a dip. Hammerhead sharks have a very interesting head shape. This sleek, elegant predator has one hell of a look about it, but for good reason. This is a highly adapted animal that evolved over 20 million years to sense its surroundings in ways that no other shark can. If you're looking for facts on the size, habitat, nature, and even attacks on people, you're in the right place. But more than this, we're going to take a look at three unique adaptations that explain why the hammerhead is so special looking and what it means for the survival of such a special yet highly endangered animal. Hammerheads come in a variety of shapes and sizes, well, a variety of sizes at least. The bonnet head is one of the smallest hammerhead species and usually reaches lengths of less than a meter or three feet. On the other hand, the largest species is the great hammerhead shark, which can reach a maximum length of 20 feet. That's about six meters from tail to snout and weigh up to 1,500 pounds or 680 kilograms. It's thought that hammerheads usually live for 20 to 30 years. However, they can live for up to 40 years in very rare cases. But these things are notoriously hard to figure out for marine biologists. Wild sharks come and go across vast distances and aren't that easy to track. So ages are usually estimated by counting the rings on vertebrae, just like we age trees. Captive hammerheads have been very difficult to please and when kept in an aquarium, they often don't fare well so there's no certain way of telling how long they might live if their conditions were better. Therefore, they do usually get older in the wild if they are not hunted down as a juvenile. The diversity in hammerhead species matches the diversity in their habitats. These are pretty cosmopolitan sharks, choosing to occupy waters that are temperate or tropical. Hammerhead sharks can be found on the coasts of every continent on Earth except Antarctica. They typically prefer coastal regions and are usually not found too deep in the ocean. Some species take part in epic migrations and mass mating events, in which countless thousands of hammerheads travel in schools together. This is where one of the adaptations on that enormous head comes into play. As they school together, it's thought that these sharks make use of a particular curvature of their heads known as a cephalofoil to generate lift, just like a wing, and this helps them conserve energy staying afloat as they cruise in huge numbers. This breathtaking scene is a great example of social behavior among an order of fish that is better known for being lone hunters. For the most part, though, they'll stick to shallower waters around the coast as already mentioned. Why? Because this is where they'll best be able to use that notorious head. Here's where things get really interesting. The hammerhead isn't just some unfortunate mutant of the sea. Its look serves a legitimate purpose. Let's break it down. Hammerheads have small mouths, so this limits the size of what they can eat. These sharks will chow down on crustaceans, squid, smaller fish, or anything they can get their teeth into, including other hammerheads. In very rare cases, they have also been seen biting into seagrass. In fact, they were the first shark to have been discovered eating vegetables. That's, however, extremely rare, but it does happen. They do also commonly hunt and eat stingrays, and this is where the second amazing adaptation on the face of a hammerhead comes in handy. A smaller cousin of the sharks, rays are flattened cartilaginous fishes that like to hide under the sand. While they're invisible to most, the hammerheads have figured out a way of detecting them. Using that enormous face, they scan the surface of the ocean like a metal detector, and an array of gel-filled pores on the surface of the hammer picks up the faintest of electrical signals beneath the sand. Finally, 
The odd position of the eyes is the third fantastic trait that makes hammerheads unique. This gives them a very broad field of vision and allows them to snap their heads around quickly to grab prey as it tries to flee. Hammerheads are often the apex predator in their area and certainly the most specialized hunter in the shallows. But unless you're a whale shark, there's always a bigger fish. And for baby hammerheads, this makes them lunch for some of the infamous beasts such as the great white shark, the tiger shark, or the killer whale. However, as top predators, hammerheads are critical to the healthy balance of their ecosystems. They function as population control, nutrient recyclers, and ocean specialists. This makes their decline a significant threat to coastal waters all over the world. And sadly, one of the main predators of all hammerhead species are humans. Shark finning is a notoriously unpleasant practice in which sharks are captured, their fins removed, and their body thrown back into the ocean to die. The fins are then made into a traditional dish called shark fin soup. This soup is a popular delicacy in Hong Kong and China, and it's thought the industry contributes to over 70 million shark deaths per year. Many of these are hammerhead species. But it's not just Asia that's endangering hammerhead sharks. Human diets are the biggest concern to all species in the ocean. Our overfishing for seafood not only competes with sharks for their lunch, but it also harms them directly, as millions are caught in nets and on hooks, contributing to an unfortunate 100 million sharks killed annually. Recreational fishing also significantly hampers hammerhead recovery, and the stress of being caught results in a lot of hammerheads dying, even if they're released. As such, populations of hammerheads are decreasing, and most are endangered or critically endangered. And that's a real shame, because these are unique and ancient animals that pose very little threat to people. Fortunately, numerous organizations and individuals worldwide are working diligently to protect these magnificent creatures. Efforts such as stricter implementation of fishing regulations, establishing marine reserves, and raising awareness about the importance of shark conservation are critical steps towards ensuring a brighter future for hammerheads. Do hammerhead sharks pose a threat to humans? Should we worry about being attacked by these sharks? Most species of hammerheads are simply too small to be worth worrying about. Those tiny mouths aren't great for chomping down on mammals, so even if they did take a disliking to your presence, there isn't much they could do about it. There are, however, documented cases of unprovoked aggression towards people from larger species. That being said, the great hammerhead shark can pose a threat to humans, but is significantly less dangerous than other sharks such as the great white or tiger shark. Still, you should always be careful around them. The hammerhead might be something special looking, but it's ultimately a misunderstood shark that shouldn't be feared but rather respected. That concludes our video for today. If you've enjoyed this dive into the world of the charismatic and freaky hammerhead sharks, don't forget to like and share this video with your fellow marine enthusiasts. And as always, subscribe to our channel for more exciting adventures into the wonders of the natural world. Until next time, keep exploring and respecting our beautiful oceans. Happy shark watching!